Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add text to the image files you create in Elements. Elements can create both vector-based and raster-based type. When you create text with the Type tool in Photoshop Elements, it is vector-based type with scalable outlines that let you resize the text freely while maintaining the crispness of the lines. If you convert the vector type text into pixels, the text becomes simplified or rasterized and is no longer editable with the Type tool. If you change its size after it has been simplified, you will most likely distort the text. You simplify text to merge text with an image or apply filters to text. Simplifying text is covered in an upcoming lesson. There are two basic types of text in elements, point type and paragraph type. Point type is useful for entering a word or single line of text, and paragraph type is useful for entering and formatting multiple lines of text as one or more paragraphs. In elements, you use the type tool to create and edit text. If you select a blank layer within the layers panel, and then use one of the type tools, the selected layer is then converted into a text layer. If you have a layer with existing content selected in the layers panel, and then use one of the type tools, a new text layer is added to the layers panel. When you click into the layer with a type tool, the tool switches to its edit mode. You can then change the properties of the selected text tool in the tool options bar and then type your text. When finished, click one of the two buttons that appear just below the bounding box of the text in the image window. You can click the commit button which looks like a check mark to accept the changes. You can click the cancel button which looks like the not symbol to reject the changes. Clicking either also exits the tool's edit mode. There are many different type tools in Elements. For example, you have both a horizontal and vertical type tool and a vertical and horizontal type mask tool. You use the type tool to enter basic text. You use the type mask tool to create a selection border for the text you want to add. You can then make the same kinds of modifications to type selections made with this tool as you would with any other selection tool. For example, you could fill the text selection with a pattern to create a custom text font. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.